Listen and practice. Making our first snowman. Gregory is my brother. He is eight years old and I am ten. We always look forward to the first big snow of the year. We watch it out the window and hope we have a snow day from school the next day. Mom makes hot chocolate for us and we bake cookies. It is always something special when we have the first snow. Mom likes to make vegetable soup for us to eat. She says it helps to keep us warm when we play in the snow. Gregory and I went outside early this morning. We bundled up so we could stay warm. The first thing we did was to make snow angels. Then we slid down the hill on boxes with our neighbors. Finally, we spent the whole afternoon making our first snowman of the year. He is right out there in our front yard. Mr. Bowman is our neighbor across the street. He gave us an old black hat for the snowman to wear. Mom gave us a yellow scarf to put around the snowman's neck. We used sticks from the yard. To make the arms, Mom gave us coal for the snowman's eyes and mouth, and a carrot for his nose. Mom always takes our picture with the snowman. Gregory is fun to play with when it snows. He is a good brother most of the time. Repeat after me. Making our first snowman. Making our first snowman. Making our first snowman. Gregory is my brother. Gregory is my brother. Gregory is my brother. He is eight years old and I am ten. He is eight years old and I am ten. He is eight years old and I am ten. We always look forward to the first big snow of the year. We always look forward to the first big snow of the year. We always look forward to the first big snow of the year. We watch it out the window and hope we have a snow day from school the next day. We watch it out the window and hope we have a snow day from school the next day. We watch it out the window. And hope we have a snow day from school the next day. Mom makes hot chocolate for us, and we bake cookies. Mom makes hot chocolate for us, and we bake cookies. Mom makes hot chocolate for us, and we bake cookies. It is always something special when we have the first snow.
It is always something special when we have the first snow. It is always something special when we have the first snow. Mom likes to make vegetable soup for us to eat. Mom likes to make vegetable soup for us to eat. Mom likes to make vegetable soup for us to eat. She says it helps to keep us warm when we play in the snow. She says it helps to keep us warm when we play in the snow. She says it helps to keep us warm when we play in the snow. Gregory and I went outside early this morning. Gregory and I went outside early this morning. Gregory and I went outside early this morning. We bundled up so we could stay warm. We bundled up so we could stay warm. We bundled up so we could stay warm. The first thing we did was to make snow angels. The first thing we did was to make snow angels. The first thing we did was to make snow angels. Then, we slid down the hill on boxes with our neighbors. Then, we slid down the hill on boxes with our neighbors. Then, we slid down the hill on boxes with our neighbors. Finally, we spent the whole afternoon making our first snowman of the year. Finally, we spent the whole afternoon making our first snowman of the year. Finally, we spent the whole afternoon making our first snowman of the year. He is right out there in our front yard. He is right out there in our front yard. He is right out there in our front yard. Mr. Bowman is our neighbor across the street. Mr. Bowman is our neighbor across the street. Mr. Bowman is our neighbor across the street. He gave us an old black hat for the snowman to wear. He gave us an old black hat for the snowman to wear.
He gave us an old black hat for the snowman to wear. Mom gave us a yellow scarf to put around the snowman's neck. Mom gave us a yellow scarf to put around the snowman's neck. Mom gave us a yellow scarf to put around the snowman's neck. We used sticks from the yard to make the arms. We used sticks from the yard to make the arms. We used sticks from the yard to make the arms. Mom gave us coal for the snowman's eyes and mouth, and a carrot for his nose. Mom gave us coal for the snowman's eyes and mouth, and a carrot for his nose. Mom gave us coal for the snowman's eyes and mouth, and a carrot for his nose. Mom always takes our picture with the snowman. Mom always takes our picture with the snowman. Mom always takes our picture with the snowman. Gregory is fun to play with when it snows. Gregory is fun to play with when it snows. Gregory is fun to play with when it snows. He is a good brother most of the time. He is a good brother most of the time. He is a good brother most of the time. Let's do a few exercises. Answer the questions. 1. What season is it in this story? A. Autumn B. Summer C. Winter D. A spring The answer is C, winter. It is winter in this story. 2. Who is telling the story? A. Gregory B. Gregory's sister C. Mr. Bowman D. A. Mom The answer is B. Gregory's sister. Gregory's sister is telling the story. 3. Why do you think Gregory and his sister want a snow day on the day after the first big snow? A. So they can sleep. B. So they can play. C. So they can eat soup. D. So they can see mom. The answer is B, so they can play.
I think Gregory and his sister want a snow day on the day after the first big snow so they can play. Four. What did Gregory and his sister do first when they went outside? A built a snowman. B slid down the hill. C went to see Mr. Bowman. D made snow angels. The answer is D made snow angels. Gregory and his sister made snow angels first when they went outside. Five. What does the word bundled mean in this story? A. To have lots of soup. B. To have on lots of clothes. C. To drink lots of tea. D. To make a snowman. The answer is B. To have on lots of clothes. In this story, the word bundled means to have on lots of clothes. Six. Why does mom make soup for the children? A. So they will stay cold. B. So they will be full. C. So they will stay warm. D. So they can sleep. The answer is C. So they will stay warm. Mom makes soup for the children, so they will stay warm. Seven. Where does their neighbor, Mr. Bowman, live? A. Next door. B. Behind them. C. Across the street. D. In the city. The answer is C. Across the street. Their neighbor, Mr. Bowman, lives across the street. Eight. What did Mom give them for the snowman? A. A yellow scarf. B. A black hat. C. Some sticks. D. Some cookies. The answer is a a yellow scarf. Mom gives them a yellow scarf for the snowman. Thanks for watching. I am sure your English skills are getting improve. Keep on moving. See you next lesson. Bye.